Hello there, my name is Zombie Mouse, and this is my first Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to try to make this extremely brief because I hate long winded tutorials. So, this is going to show you how to make uh, parchment paper look like the edges are burnt and have a little flame effect on the edge afterward. Um, I have two layers here I have a background layer, which I've actually colored gray so that you can kind of see a better, uh, have a better idea of what the you know, contrast is between black and white. This can be any color. I like I like to draw and do art on gray so that I have a better understanding of what it's going to look like on both black and white. Anyways, layer one is my parchment paper. Um, this is not something I did in Photoshop. It's just something I grabbed off the internet. Um, you can do a little effects if you want to come up with your own parchment paper look, but this tutorial is not for that. What you need to do is bring in the parchment paper um, this is a eight and a half. I'm sorry, it's a uh, nine by eleven and a half canvas, and this ca uh, parchment paper is actually eight and a half by eleven. So there's a about a half an inch on each side. You need that to kind of work with a little bit. Um, then you're going to add the following blending options. I'm just going to list them off really quick, so you can. Uh, Copy them and then tweak them as you would like. Um, tweak the numbers, see what see what the effects are. But these this is the effects that I found worked best. Um, drop shadow, linear burn, 75% opacity, distance of 25 pixels, spread of zero, size of 11 pixels. The inner shadow is a color burn, black color, 75% uh, opacity, angle is 120. I think all these have an angle of 120. Distance is 0, the choke is 44, the size is 150. Uh, the noise is 0. Now the inner glow is a linear burn blend mode, an opacity of 100%, zero noise. Uh, it actually has a gradient, gradient effect instead of the standard color. I just used a very dark brown in the far left, um, a little bit of more saturated brown in the middle. Technique softer, source of edge, choke of 35%, uh, 13 pixels for the size, the range is 32, and the jitter is 19%. Once you mimic this layer style, you're going to have this nifty little effect right here. Looks pretty cool, I know, but it's going to look even better. We are now going to burn the edges. Um, in order to do that, you click on the brush tool. And then you're going to use a special brush. It's actually under the special effect brushes. It looks like this gray, sort of blobby, wet liquid stuff right here. This is actually one of my favorite brushes. It's pretty, pretty fun to use. Um, once you have that brush selected, make sure you have kind of a uh, fairly medium of size. You're going to add a layer mask to the parchment paper. Make sure it's selected. Turn on. Uh, airbrush mode, click on window, brushes, and uncheck wet edges. Um, after you do that, another good thing to do is kind of lower the scatter a little bit because you don't want it too chaotic. You can kind of play around with it too. You can have it look pretty weird, kind of neat actually. But I like to have it a little bit lower. Um, then you simply draw around the edges of the paper and watch the magic happen. Make sure you're clicked on the black color, otherwise no magic happens at all. So make sure your foreground color is black, if you're black. And then draw around the edges. Psst. It's pretty cool. Nice little effect going on. Burns the edges of the parchment paper. It's pretty neat. Now, if you mess up, do too much, um, simply make the brush color white and you can heal it just the same um, and there you go let's add a little bit of extra hold down here or something just kind of give it that natural look play around a little bit it's pretty fun all right so the next step is to do a little subtle uh, flaming effect on the edges um, what you're going to want to do is um, make another layer 
and you can either go online and get a image of flames of some sort, um, but you don't want to have a lot of black or a lot of uh, you know white. It has to look more like a pattern, if anything. Um, I'm just going to make one real quick out of uh, different clouds. It's a very commonly used Photoshop trick. I'm not going to really explain this one too much. I'm just going to kind of do it and you can kind of see what I'm up to. Uh, filter, render, clouds. I usually like to make two of them. Not too green. I'll try that. Eh, too yellow. I want more red. Okay, so I have two layers that are pretty much the same thing. Um, I'm just gonna kind of fuck around with our blending modes. That's what we're looking for. We want it to have a look, have a look like a, a lava effect, sort of like the lava in Minecraft. Once you hit, once you get the uh, that that going, go ahead and merge the two layers. I'm just gonna call this the uh, lava layer. We'll rename it to lava. Lava. Actually, is supposed to be fire, but uh, it looks more like lava than than fire at the moment, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, now we're gonna copy the parchment paper layer twice. And. After that, you're going to make another layer. Highlight both the parchment paper and the empty layer, the top two together. Right click and choose Merge. And finally, add a layer mask to that top layer. So that layer mask is just pretty much blank. Now go back to the lava layer. Drag that in between the second and the third parchment papers. So we're going to alt click between the second parchment paper and the lava. Alt click between those two. And then we're going to turn the lava blending mode into color dodge. Getting close, getting close. Not quite there yet though. Um, next thing we want to do is click on the layer mask for the parchment paper. Um, actually, we're going to shift click it. And it's gonna have much dotted lines. Go back to the lava layer and add a layer mask while that selection is still going on. So like that. I may notice there's some stuff on the outside edges. We don't really want that so I'm gonna use a brush tool. Make sure you use the color black on the layer mask and that's going to add to the layer mask to get rid of the rest of that excess stuff. And finally, I've been working with this layer hidden the entire time, but what we basically did is we made this effect um, in the background. Uh, but what we really want to do is keep this layer on, select the layer mask for the top layer, and now we're going to do our final steps. And that is just kind of lightly brush along the edges. We do not want to use the liquid tool this time. We want to use the actual brush tool. Make sure the hardness is set to zero. And just kind of brush along the edges where you want the actual flame to show up. I'm just going to kind of do that here. Maybe do a little too much and then I can erase it afterward. Yeah. If you want to erase it, just click on white. Make sure you still have the layer mask selected and brush over the areas where there's a little bit too much flame. You just want a little subtle effect. You don't want it to be too crazy. Um, and that is pretty much it. Now, once you get done with this uh, burning effect, you can add some flames or something if you'd like. Just go on and look for tutorials how to make flames and simply add that to it. As you can see, it has a cool little effect of uh, a flaming edge. I'll show you what it looks like in different colored backgrounds. So it looks 
cool on a black background and it looks cool on a white background. So that is my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. I will be sure to read them and answer every single one of them. This has been Zombie Mouse with my very first Photoshop tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.